the footballer and broadcaster Jimmy Hill, who died today. The former Labour MP Lord Janner has died at the age of 87. Earlier this month, a judge ruled that his dementia meant he was unfit to stand trial on 22 counts of historical sexual abuse of children. Lord Janner had always denied the claims. Tonight, a lawyer who represents six alleged victims said it was devastating news for her clients who wanted to give evidence in court. Our political correspondent Chris Mason reports. This was the closest Lord Janna came to having to answer for the sex crimes he was accused of. Threatened with arrest, facing charges of sexual abuse over three decades, he appeared at Westminster Magistrates Court in the summer. But a High Court judge later concluded that a man who could barely recognise his own family was not fit to stand trial. There was not a shred of truth in any of the allegations. Of Greville Janna, a Labour MP for 27 years, was forced to deny allegations of wrongdoing as early as 1991. This is the notorious children's home in Leicester, where Lord Janna was an MP. It's where one of the country's worst paedophiles, Frank Beck, preyed on young people. During his trial, one man alleged there was another abuser, Greville Janna. But that wasn't the end of it. Greville Janna became a peer. Allegations of child abuse multiplied. But in 2007, prosecutors said there wasn't enough evidence to try him. By the time proceedings did begin, it was too late. Obviously, sincere condolences to Lord Janna's family, but this is a deeply disappointing day for his alleged victims. All they had ever wanted to do was to give their evidence in a court of law and for that evidence to be tested. And they see that justice has been denied to them now at the very 11th hour. For peace in the Middle East. Greville Janna was a prominent figure in the Jewish community and founded the Holocaust Educational Trust. Tonight, the chief rabbi paid tribute to his work. Lord Janna's alleged victims already knew he'd never face conviction for the offences he'd been charged with, but they were going to be able to make their case in courts in the spring. With Lord Janna's death, that is now not likely to happen. And Chris is with me now. Yes, so what is likely to happen next, Chris? Well, it was due to be what's called a trial of the facts starting in April, a curious uh, legal twist which would have involved an examination of the evidence against Lord Janna, but without him being there. A jury would have been there, alleged victims would have been able to appear in court, but there'd have been no finding of guilt or conviction. But tonight, the Crown Prosecution Service has told the BBC that subject to formal confirmation that they will receive of Lord Janna's death, that will now not happen. And so it leaves the alleged victims and their families deeply frustrated because whilst they knew there was no prospect of conviction of Lord Janna, they at least felt they would have an opportunity in court to say what they've been thinking uh, for, for many, many years. What they will now hope, I think, is that this will be all picked up by the government's uh, child abuse inquiry being chaired by Dame Lyle Goddard, which is due to get underway uh, pretty soon. They'll hope that that can provide some answers, and at least they will hope as well that lessons can be learned from their own experience of the criminal justice system. Mm. Chris, thank you. Chris Mason. There are